Dang it, he's after that bait. Dang it. Let's go, baby, let's go. Oh, look, there's a school right here. There's like four four little blow-ups. Well, we oh, there they go. They're moving fast, bro. Look, they're, they're moving fast, bro. Look, right there. Right there. Come on, let's go. I'm just sitting right here. Let's see. Let me pull this head up. Oh. Nice big guy. Woo! Woo! Dude, this guy's huge. Welcome back, everybody. You're Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go to do so. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and uh, all that stuff really helps out the channel out tremendously. If you haven't subscribed yet, because like 70% of my viewers aren't hitting that sub button, I'll wait. I'll wait for you guys. I'll go in and give you a few seconds and uh, hit that sub button, and you go and take care of that right now. All right, I appreciate that sub. But hey, I'm going to go fishing today with a couple friends of mine. We're going to be going out on a very nice boat. It is a um, Express. I think it's 25 foot, 25 foot aluminum all Express. I love this boat. It is a, uh, a great boat. I'm going to be going out with some really, really great guys. Owner of the boat, Bethel. You know, his information is below as well as Tim. His information is below in the description section as well. And uh, we're going to be going out, we're going to be getting some live shrimp, be fishing underneath the cork, 20 pound Yozuri leader line, one size, one size, one kel hook, and uh, a little bit of split shot right before the hook, probably about six, eight inches above the hook, just kind of helps slow that shrimp down a little bit. We've been getting some really nice good shrimp. Now, I don't know what the water is going to be doing, right, because we just had a storm, like 85 mile an hour winds in the area a lot of rain which means the water probably got really stirred up and the rain probably added a lot of fresh water to our bays and bayous i'm hoping that we can find some clean water and i'm hoping that we can find some deeper water because on top of that though all the water got blown out so the water level is really really low so hoping we can find the fish hoping we can get on them i want to thank you all for coming back to texas water fishing and uh Hopefully, at the end of this, we're going to wrap everything up in the studio and kind of tell you how um, how the day went. But you probably watched most of it right here. So thanks, guys. Thanks for coming back. And uh, yeah, let's get fishing. Seen him? You see him still? Yeah. I'll see. Let's go get him. Just see if that makes a difference. Let's go get him. There's my shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> he was dead anyway. Like yeah, there's my shrimp. He was dead anyway. He was dead. He didn't make it. Thank you, sir. Ow! So rude. You're down, Tim. Uh oh, what is it? Let's see what it is. Let's see, Timmy. First fish of the day. Nice fish. You can, uh, heavy. Is he heavy? You can anchor up here if you want. I think we're right in line with Power pole down. I feel like a gut tub. I know, that's what I was afraid of because the water's so dirty. It is a big one. Oh, Look big gap top. Dang it. Yeah, Let's do a catch and cook gap top. There you go. Your cooler? Oh, yeah. yeah. To put them on your cooler, so. Cast them out. They're all over there. Cast them out. Go ahead, go ahead with your bad self. A lot of birds. Oh, I'm down. Oh, goodness. That's a red. Colorado? That's a red, yep. That's a red. It's a red or a black drum. He hammered it and just started pulling big time. It's a black drum, I bet. It's a nice black drum, I bet. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking around. I was looking around. 
inside the deal there. Do we need it? I don't might know. need it out here. Yeah, might need it right for this one. If he's a red, you need him, but he's just, he's like a, it feels like a drum. Oh, he's full of shit, ain't he? Yep. Alright, I'll get this. Feel like a big ugly. Tim got those Hawkeyes, man. Tim saw this. All the time. Yeah, Tim got the Hawkeyes. He's noticing kayak junkie, they call me the scout. Overmade water surface. What are you? Come on. On the back of the boat. Oh. Oh, that's a big red. That is a big red, baby. That is a big red. Light tackle too. I'm gonna have to baby this guy. As soon as he sees the boat, he's gonna take off again. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. I knew it. We'll be here for a while. It's only 20 pound, 20 pound fluorocarbon. This is only 20 pound fluorocarbon. Wish I had braid on right about now. We're just gonna hang on for a second. Nice big red. They put up on these birds diving and uh, just got on the water. Water is real low and dirty. Live shrimp, voodoo cork, nice big red. He's gone. He's gone. I ain't, I'm not gonna be able to control. I'm not gonna be able to control him at the. Not be able to control him. When he wants to go, he's going to take off again. All you got to do is pop that if you can get that head up. Are you need to come around or? I'm just sitting right here. Let's see. He pulls his head up. Oh. Nice big guy. Woo. Woo. Dude, this guy's huge. Coming back in. Coming back in. Coming back in. Ah, he's gone. Dang it. He's not tired enough yet. Oop, 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 oop. <laughs> he decided to come to the front. Hi, Beto. I know, right? Here, sit down. He decided to come to the boat. Come to the front. Big hoss. Hanging out with Gap Top. Hanging out with Trash Fish. Y'all be ashamed of yourself. Okay, go back this way, Ruben. We're going over here now. Are you exploring the boat? He just, yeah, we can take a tour. He want to take a take tour. Take a tour of the boat. He want to take a tour. Come on, big guy. That almost makes me want to tag that boat. You can tag it if you want. I could tag it if you want. If you want to keep your tag. No, I, I never tag nothing. Woohoo, come on. That is a tiger. Yeah, come on, we, baby. We all catch plenty of fish, so that might probably be a big clean. Dang it. I just don't want to hook your hook to get the line. Yeah, because I'm gonna yeah. have to go head first. Because he's in a he's uh not cooperating. Yeah, I'd just like to get him in before he fucking does. Yep. What kind of leader you got on the court? 30. He's good, he's oh, good. So he's coming up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't go to the boat. Don't go to the boat. <clears throat> Don't go to the boat. <sighs> it might not be 30. It might be 30, 20. 30, 30. It might be 20. It's all yours, too. There we go, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Baby, baby! Donkey Kong, baby! Yeah, baby! Doesn't it have a number? Yeah, right here. It's past it, dude. 20. About 25. 25 pounds? Yeah, baby! Picture time. Give me your phone. Yeah, so. What the fuck? Now we gotta go find those over there. 28. You got your power pole, I know. Over, he's over my hand past 28. Whew. Let's let this guy go. It's a big dude. Big fun dude. Should I drive over there or troll me over there? Big fun guy right here. Yeah. Way over 28. Can't just get him back in the water. Keep drumming. 
Yeah, he's still drumming. Waiting for him to kick. He ain't kicked yet. If I let him go, he's gonna go sideways. Oh, there he goes. Woo! Baby! Yeah! That was badass. Woo! That was a big surface splash. That was, do y'all see that? Yeah. That was a big splash, like a red. That wasn't, no birds diving on either, just ah, big old whip. Let's go, baby, let's go. Let's get him. At the candy cane. The candy cane. He's at the candy cane. That get that candy cane there. fish. That was a red. That was a second, that was the we second one I've seen like that. Cane and the lollipop. Man, that was a big one too, bro. Woo! I got goosebumps. You got bumps of goose? Mm-hmm. Get him. Ooh, look at all them. Dude, they're all right here. Look, bro. Look, bro, all at the front. All at the front. All at the front. That was a big school. That was like five or six explosions. Bro, let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him, baby. We can't cast to him. Watch your line. Oh, there they are. Yep, I seen them. Boy, that bridge is. Oh, there they go right there. Look. All right there. I'm going to go in front of them. Oh, that was a nice one. That's another one. All right here. Nice big school of bull reds. There's another one. More and more and more. There they go. Look, they're chasing shad or mullet or something. Not in a big school. There they go. You can see them popping. There's some in front of us right here to the left. Yep. Where that pelican is. There they go, right there. Turn to the left. Yep. Oh, look yeah. at that. Dang, he's running. Dang it. He's after that bait. Dang it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, look. There's a school right here. There's like four four little blow ups. Oh, there they go. They're moving fast, bro. Look, they're, they're, they're moving, moving fast, bro. Look, right there. Right there. Come on, let's go. Ooh, look how far that one is. Oh, you got that one, Beto. Come on. Come on, Beto. You got him. You got him. Oh, he's right next to it. He's on. He's on. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Dang it, you missed it. You missed it. I need some bait, Mauritius. Bait delicious, and he fucking popped my line. Oh, he broke your line. He broke my line. Oh, man, you got another one rigged up? We chased and chased and chased those fish for probably over an hour, probably closer to two hours. Uh, they started breaking up and getting in little smaller groups. At first, it was just birds working over the surface, and that was kind of when I got into that red drum, that big bull red drum. And uh, both Tim and Bethel, they each put out a handful of gaff top as well. And then we started noticing like bigger splashes we're, when we caught the one red off in the distance, we started noticing some bigger splashes on top of the water surface. So then we started pursuing them. We couldn't keep up with them with the trolling motor. We had to use the motor of the boat, and a lot of times that will scare the fish off. I mean, we're only probably about four or five foot of water, so that travel, that sound travels, and the vibration travels a lot in the, in the water. So we kind of just kept pushing them and scaring them and spooking them, and then we're running up to them, and then they're they're popping up over here and over there, and then there's birds working in the distance, and we go over there, and we, we'll cast at them, we'll cast at them. You know, Bo Beto did catch one, or hook into one for a second, and he broke off and he broke off around the tip of the cork so we're having probably close to a three to maybe four foot leader line you know where where that fish broke his his line at closer to the cork you know that kind of leads me to believe that there were jacks and just the way we saw some of the bait coming out of the water and we got real close to about five or six of them right up next to the boat and they were just like chasing the bait and it was really hard to tell what they were in that in that dirty water and i know that 
Reds will move fast and chase bait pretty fast. But in that case, I think that those schools of Reds kind of turn into a school of Jacks or several school of Jacks because they were like there one second and totally gone and then there again and then totally gone again. And uh, it was a lot, a lot of fun. I wish I wish we could have got into one of those Jackfish and we could have um, brought it on deck for you guys to see and for us as well. Uh, we did fish a handful other places in the area just wasn't really producing very low water conditions probably like three foot water drop uh give or take and wasn't we weren't getting a very good visibility no matter where we went i mean probably like that much visibility and um you know when we were throwing on those schools of jacks you know a lot of times they do hone in on the bait that they're fishing on and they're fishing or eating the bait that they're eating on and they were eating on some nice big big mullet and, and even shad so i switched over to a spoon and i started throwing and throwing the spoon some and so did bethel but we didn't have any takers but it was a fun fun day you know I, I just think it's cool to witness and come across, you know, fish like that when they're schooling and they're feeding so aggressive. It's just wonderful to see and it's great to see. Um, yes, it just pains me that we didn't hook up to uh, to one of those jacks, but um, you know, it, it is what it is. I had a great time. I know Tim and Bethel had a great time. Don't forget, if you do need a plumber and you're in the Fort Bend County area, hit Tim up. His uh, information is in the description section below. And if you need a safety consultant anywhere in Texas, Louisiana, I know Beto and his team goes all over the place, you know, hit up Beto. Again, his information is down below as well. But hey, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be on the lookout uh, for the next Texas All Water Fishing video. Turn that bell notification. It will let you know the next time I drop one. Don't forget, head over to Up Above Adventures. Uh, check out their YouTube channel. I'm editing and recording and doing all their stuff over there. So go over there. Do me a favor. Check them out as well. And if you want to book a trip, book a trip. You want to book the videographer, that's me. I'll come along with you. And we can all go out there and go catch some dinosaurs out there in the deep water. Hope everybody else, don't forget to sub to this channel too. Like the video. Leave a comment. All that stuff really helps the channel out tremendously. And until next time, hope you catch me hooking up. Thanks. Thanks.